Hey guys, I'm back with a quick little project share for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, this is Erica's website, scrapdivadesigns.com. And then here is all of her social media. So you can go ahead and follow along on that hashtag to see what everybody's making. Okay. So the die that um, I'm kind of featuring today is this one which is called Sun Shaker Tag. So you get this piece here. Let me pull this out for you. So here's the base with the tag hole and stuff. This is the base piece. And then here's your layering piece. It cuts out all these little squares. And then it also comes with a face um, that you can put on to you know, have your son have a face. I didn't use that on my projects, but it comes with it. So. It's a really cute die set, so let me show you what mine looks like. <clears throat> These are the ones I've made so far. So first off, I made one that is a shaker. Okay, so I didn't decorate this one, um, but I did make it a shaker, so I put some of those cute little um, flower clay pieces down in there. This isn't a very thick shaker, so I only put one layer and I tried to make sure they were all spaced out so that they didn't um, you know bunch up but they are kind of bunching up still but they do move so anyway um, I cut out a layer of actually I cut out two layers of the Hobby Lobby foam but I ran it through so many times to make sure all these little pieces cut out that it, it really flattened it down you know so I actually did two layers of that and so I just have a pretty pattern piece a piece of pattern paper in the background um, for the base piece and then another um, pattern piece on top that was less you know it's not as uh, busy as the first layer um, I put a brad up here and the reason why I didn't I didn't decorate this one yet because it's gonna be more it's gonna go probably in the mini album and so what I did was cut out a bunch more of the base pieces and I just left them plain because they are going to be spots for um, either photos or journaling. And then so I just did those all together. And like I say, I just I have a brad back here that keeps them all together, not some move. So I made that one. And then I also made this one. Now this one isn't a shaker. <clears throat> made it more of a tag just a second here I get it so I just made it like just a, a tag so I still have the back piece uh, the base piece and then another pattern paper um, layered on top um, it is let's see I did cut it out of foam once also okay so there's a little bit of depth but not much okay I think it turned out really cute have one of these you know ball and chain things up here to attach it to. And then the other um, items that I used on this were this, which is the um, hibiscus flower plate. I love this. <clears throat> it makes it so easy. You just run the plate through and it has the, the, um, the flower and, you know, kind of the center and then whatever this thing is that comes out of this flower, this little pink piece right here. I don't know if it's a stamen or what it, what it is, but um, anyway. I, um, it cuts out three on each one. This it comes with a smaller and a larger. And each of them do three, cut out three. So that's the flower I used. And I layered up two layers of the flower. And then there's the center and then the little piece right here. And then just the dot that comes, the dot um, cuts out also. Okay. And then I also, in the, um, background behind my flower i use the tropical leaves i love this it gives you all of these different let me lay this down for a second it gives you all of these different shapes of <clears throat> tropical leaves you're going to want this in your stash because it is a great die set to have um, so it comes with all these different leaves. And you can put it, I had them in place, but they moved. I get the tape kind of peeled up when I peeled them off. So that one, that one, that one. 
Okay, so there's two of this one. You can see they're facing the different directions. So you got two directional ones there. There's two of this one that are also directional. So one's curved that way and the other curved that way. This one's kind of straight on. This one's straight on. This one's straight on. This one's straight on. And this one's straight on. But all those different shapes, it is a great set to have. And I used quite a few on my little tag right here. So I used this little thin one. <clears throat> uh, this one. Okay. I used this one here, which is this one. Okay. And it was the one that was curved that way. Okay, I used this one. That was, it was kind of the straight on one. This one tucked behind here. And then I used this part back here is this one sticking up. Now, a lot of times I trim off like this one's cut off like halfway down and I just stick it in there you know, just to make it look um, nice when it's all layered up so they're not like all the same length. Um, I try to use different sizes, different directions. Don't want it all just like in a clump. You kind of want it to spread out and kind of go different directions. So that's why I had these two first and they were too close to the same size and same height. I didn't like it so I grabbed this one, put it behind and then layered up this one too to curve this direction and be you know a little bit different shape so that's those and this is cut out of that um, Cricut paper so there's that behind there and then I attach this I just hauled this from Hobby Lobby on the clearance this cute little um, shell charm it was on clearance so I um, just cut a hole and hang it right there I thought that looked cute and then this is a little starfish from my stash I just um, layered up right there and then oopsie and then I also, as you can see, I have the word summer. And for that, I used from last month, the summer words number three set, which comes with all kinds of words. Let me refresh your memory on these in case you didn't see it or didn't grab it or, you know, whatever, just in case you're wondering if you need some summer words. It comes with um, travel, uh, season, summer, traveling, uh, lemonade, and swimming. So, and they each have the, um, you know, the script word part and then also the shadow part back here. So I layered um, both of those up on foam. So I layered my shadow on foam and then I layered my other, my inside word, you know, my script part word on foam also. And then added them on there across the tag. So I think it turned out really cute. So anyway, that is my project share for today. I'll be back with more soon. Thank you so much for watching. I will list uh, link Erica's website. Um, I will link all these dies. I will um, list my um, uh, coupon code down below if you decide to pick anything up. I appreciate that when you guys use that. And it saves you some money too. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back with another one shortly. Thank you. Bye.